Hiya, just a quick walk through a uh, working FPV system while it's sat on the carpet before it goes in the aircraft. This is going to go into a conventional fixed wing aircraft. Um, it's all based around the vector controller here and it's using an FR Sky L9R receiver here. Uh, power flow goes from battery through two spurs. One goes to the uh, a beck which is feeding the servos and another spur is going to the vector zone power supply unit. Uh, what else have we got? Um, from the vector we've got the video transmitter and we've got the camera all wired into the vector which sorts out their currents and voltages. Um, over here we've got a Black Pearl video receiver um, so the only connection between the video receiver and this system is from its antenna at the back of the Black Pearl receiving signals from the video transmitter over here. What I haven't connected yet here is the ESC itself and the motor. I'll just put those on the in place where they'll be going. Uh, so there we've got the ESC and the motor. The Vectors PSU supplies the current to go to the ESC uh, through these two power lines which should be connected to the output here. Um, the ESC then generates the three phase power to go to the motor to drive the propeller. This uh, wire here is the throttle wire which should be connected, will be connected eventually to the throttle output of the vector over here. Um, in this particular configuration you'd have to be careful to remove the red wire connection from this wire um, because at the moment the, the way it's going to work is the beck is going to supply power for the uh, servos and not the beck within the ESC and, and that's why you have to disconnect the red wire over here. This wire here is the Vectors bus uh, connected through to the, the bus output over here. And the Vectors bus runs through to the Vectors GPS uh, and compass device uh, and in this configuration it's also going on daisy chained through to an airspeed indicator device which will be connected by little plastic tubes to a uh, pitot tube to measure the airspeed. With the L9R receiver it's very easy to connect an RSSI signal to the vector um, received signal strength indication to show how strong the link is between the receiver and the transmitter on the ground. Um, the beauty of doing it like this is, as well as the RSSI signal being sent to the vector, it's also in effect acting as a, a backup supply to the vector, which I'll come to later. Um, connecting L9R to a vector is nice, nice and easy. Uh, with X8R, uh, or another one of FR Sky's receivers, not so straightforward at all. You, you couldn't do it like this. For test purposes I've got a couple of servos hooked up. I've got a servo here which is pretending to be a pan servo for a camera and um, this is going straight through to the receiver to the L9R receiver uh, and it's got nothing to do with the vector. The other servo, this one here with the red tab, is pretending to be hooked up to the rudder and is going through to the vector so it is controlled by the vector. Um, they both work at the moment, there goes the rudder and there goes the pan. Uh, the purpose of the power supply unit here, as well as um, generating the various voltages for the video system, is just to measure the current uh, flowing through it. Um, so this would monitor how much current is being used by the motor. Um, with this configuration, what it's not going to do is measure the current being used by the BEC supplying with servos, um, which is a small drawback because the lion's share of the current will be going through to the motor and a very small current will be going through to the beck in comparison. 
Um, the reason I've done it like this is by, by having a, a separate spur, if this power supply unit fails, okay, you'll lose the video, you'll lose the propeller, but what you'll keep is you'll still have power going to the servos and with a bit of luck you'll be able to dead stick land the aircraft. Um, I can demonstrate this now, I'll just do a quick demo. Uh, so at the moment the pan works, the rudder works, everything's fine and I'll simulate the failure of the PSU by pulling out the supply to the PSU. So instantly I would lose the propeller power and I would lose the video signal but I should still have power to these two servos so we'll just give that a go. There. PSU is just broken um, but we should still have power to the pan and more importantly power to the aircraft's control system so we can dead stick land it. I'll just get it back to how it should be and uh, fix the power supply unit. So that's a video back and we should have power back to the propeller and everything's happy again. This wire here is the S-Bus connecting the L9R receiver through to the vector. Um, so receiver's antennae picks up signals from the transmitter saying move servo and that signal arrives at the receiver and then it's sent through this S-Bus lead through to the vector and asks the vector to move the servo. That would apply to servos connected to the vector. Um, any servos connected directly to the receiver don't need to go through this S-Bus obviously. Uh, the S-Bus is also supplying volts from the vector to power up the receiver in this configuration. The way I see the vector is it has two power systems. It's got the um, servo power system and it's got its own processing power system for running its own processors. Uh, normally the PSU supplies the power for its own processing from the PSU and the servo bus in this configuration is getting its power from the back here. Um, so power flow is back supplies the servo power here um, then the vector takes that same power and supplies the L9R receiver through the S-Bus lead the one marked AIL, short for aileron, but in this instance it's uh, an S-Bus lead taking all the signals for all the various control surface com uh, servos. Um, in this configuration the RSSI lead acts as a sort of a backup if the power supply unit fails. If the power supply unit fails then the BEC should still work, it should still supply power to the servo bus here and then this uh, finds its way through to the L9R so that still stays on and the L9R in turn passes the power through to the vectors processing system I believe, I believe this is what's happening it sort of fits testing anyway the L9R supplies power to the vectors processing system through the red and black wires of the RSSI input to the vector and a quick demo of the sound. Um, have the audio connected up, just a single white line, white wire, going to the video transmitter. And um, what that means is um, we can have audible alarms um, coming back through to our receiver, which is very nice. Something that this um, original style vector can do, and something which I believe the uh, newer micro vector can't yet do. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll just uh, do a return to home test and then we should hear that shouted out by the vector through the re video receiver. Here we go. So audio works as well. 
Thanks for listening to my ramble. Um, I'll do some stills of uh, close-ups of the, some of the connections, uh, in case that helps anybody. Anyway, thanks for watching.